Hello, this is Poonam here, technical support expert for Palicon. In this video, I'll walk you through the playback process of our encrypted content. Palicon provides integration APIs and SDKs to support various client environments such as PC, mobile, and OTT platforms. Sample codes for Palicon multi DRM integration with various HTML5 players is provided and it can be downloaded from our downloads page. Palicon multi DRM SDKs are available for playback of the encrypted content across most platforms like Windows PC, Android, and iOS application. The same can be downloaded from the file downloads page on the Palicon console. In this video, we'll use the demo player for quick testing of our encrypted content. On this page, you'll need to provide few details like the license URL. It is the Palicon license server URL. The dash URL, it is the URL of the playback file. In our case, it is a MPD file which was stored on S3. Palicon custom data v2 is a license token that we generated in our previous video. Now when we click the play button, these details are sent to Palicon server requesting for a license. Once the request is validated, a license is issued to our player and the playback starts. Here the video has started playing but you will be able to see a blank black screen and not the actual video content. This is because multi DRM prevents screen recording by default. Now if there are any issues with the token data and the license issuance fails, then the relevant error code and the error message is displayed in the log section here. The success and failure logs can be viewed on the Palicon console under the active licenses page. Please check our next video for more information on content protection.